Christian Pache. That is how you pronounce it. I finally took the 30 seconds to <clears throat> watch a highlight reel of Pache and learn how he pronounced his name. So I think that was the only one that, uh, oh, I should probably do uh, Scooble next, Scobble, just to make sure I'm pronouncing his name right. Uh, I watched the Tanner Houck game earlier, so <laughs> we're back. We're on our out-of-the-park playthrough, <clears throat> and my butchering of names knows no bounds, as you'll soon find out. I read all these names, um, but I don't, I follow box scores every day, but I very rarely have the time to actually watch games, so I never hear them pronounced. I just see them written down. Um, so Pache, Pache, I took the 20 seconds, and then between our next game, I'll look at, um, I'll look up, uh, uh, Scooble and make sure Scoble make sure I'm pronouncing him his correctly. And when I'm wrong, I hear it. I'm like, oh my god, I spent no 30 videos pronouncing it one way. But hey, whatever. Anyway, so we had a <clears throat> three-one start to the season. We went three games into extra innings with the Diamondbacks. So this series was very close. We had one convincing win. It was a nine-one victory. But we we were very close to starting one and three. You know, as opposed to three and one. So. Um, our <clears throat> lineup has really been led by a couple, a couple players, um, a Rosarina, Mountcastle, um, and then even, uh, Kiebert Ruiz as well. So, uh, we still are tied for second with runs scored, which seems, which is kind of hard to believe in my opinion, because, um, Pache is hitting 150, Gorman is hitting 140, um, Jimenez is hitting 100. That just kind of seems hard to believe for me. So I really would like to change this lineup around. Um, but we're going to simulate the rest of April, and we're going to keep an eye on Jimenez uh, because if we get through April and he's still hitting around 100, we might have to see how Austin Martin's doing in the minor leagues and maybe bring him up. Um, Pache, I mean, there's really nothing we can do there. I, I feel like he'll get a. I mean, his defense is elite, so that's going to keep him in. I mean, he would have to hit like 150 for the season for us to consider doing something about that. But uh, I'm interested to see how um, Simeon Woods Richardson plays. Uh, he's just coming back from from so shoulder surgery um, or an inflamed shoulder. I can't remember what it was. Um, but we're going to sim uh, the month of April and see how it turns out. I'm a little worried about our lineup, but hopefully our pitching staff can come through. So. <clears throat> we have three against the Rockies here, uh, starting on the on April 11th. All right. Oh, another extra inning victory. Ooh. That, oh, that you're always going to regress to the mean there, um, and that's going to come back eventually on us, you'd think. Uh, bottom of the eighth, we had three runs. Um, bottom of the eighth, I wonder what happened there. Uh, Mount Castle uh, looks like he had a three-run shot in the bottom of the eighth, uh, which is huge for us. And then we, in the bottom of the 11th, <clears throat> Jimenez hit a run scoring single. Okay. There we go. He, you know, went two for five, uh, Ruiz with three RBI total on the game. Uh, Woods Richardson went six and a third, six K's. Um, you know, decent below decent outing. Yeah. You can see there by the 41 game score, not his best, but <clears throat> his first his first start back. So, um, from being injured in the regular season, so we'll take that. We'll take that. All right. So now let's see if we can snag the ser clinch the series uh, uh, victory here in game two. Tw another. Oh, oh my God! What? This is such a wild start. Five of our six games have gone to extra innings. I don't know if that means we're good or bad, to be honest. I'm kind of worried about this because that's not really sustainable. We went 16 innings, too. Our bullpen has to be just shit right now. McClanahan goes three innings pitched, five Ks. Wow, what a game. McKenzie uh, Gore, eight innings, 10 Ks, three-hit ball. Great, great game. 84 game score there. McClanahan, I mean, look at that, too. I mean, that game's... I don't know what his game score is. Three innings pitched, five Ks, only one hit. Man, he shut the door, didn't he? Column A. Blown save. Ugh, Gore was injured while pitching. Are you kidding me? Okay, tender shoulder. Uh. <clears throat> okay, it's not the end of the world. Um, how did we win in the bottom of the 16th? Um, Rosarena <clears throat> whopping a solo home run. 
Went one for seven. Brujan went two for seven. Jimenez, two for seven. Or two for six, I mean. Okay. I just, I'm terrified. I'm going to, let's go look at our, we we had to have shuttled people up and down from um, the minor league system just to, oh man, look at that. Just exhausted. <clears throat> it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be, to be quite frank. Yikes. Okay. All right. All right. We need that day off big time here. Big time. Let's see. Can we just get a nine inning win here? I mean, I'm not, don't want to be too picky. I'll take any win, but just for a bullpen sake, you know? 2 1 win. All right. We swept the Rockies. Uh, two in the bottom of the fifth. <clears throat> uh, Pache hit a two run single uh, to give us all the runs we needed. All right. Gray goes six and a third, 10 Ks, 69 game score. Nice. Uh, Dykeman, class, <clears throat> with the holds, and then the guess, the goose. I should look up his as well, his name as well. <laughs> uh, slam the door shut. Okay. So let's see where we're at now in the grand scheme of things. Let's finish the off day first. And then we're going to play three against the Angels. <clears throat> so, all right, tied for the division lead against the Padres, who are loaded um, with Bellinger. I mean, that was kind of dumb to trade him in the division, to be honest. But we got great pieces. I mean, we got Gore. We got Paddock. So I can't really complain that much. Um, but, yeah, we're still putting up good runs here. So I guess, we, we yeah, we have three against our crosstown rivals. Um, I don't really know if they're that big of rivals, because um, I know they play Anaheim. I don't know. I don't know if they're if, if anyone watches, or if anyone is an L, either an Angels or Dodgers fan, or I guess pays attention to you know more West Coast ball than I do. Let me know. Let's see, can we get the series? Okay, eight game uh, streak with a quality start by Scooble. That was lost. All right, you're gonna lose games. It's okay. See, can we take game two? Three nothing win. <clears throat> Come back to assert our dominance. Jimenez goes two for four. Uh, Ruiz two for three with two RBI there. Okay. Hauk goes eight innings, six Ks, only one hit. Give up one hit the entire game. Nice. 85 game score. All right. Let's see. Can we grab the series victory here? Yes, 4-3 victory against the Angels. <clears throat> and we needed two in the top of the seventh after blowing the the lead in the bottom of the sixth. Uh, Kalenic run scoring single in the top of the seventh inning. Um, it was only hitting five at bats. All right. Uh, Austin Hayes went three for five there. Gorman with three strikeouts. Ooh. Uh, Woods Richardson, five innings pitch, six Ks. Again, a little bit of a below average uh start but again he's working his way back so all right so now we're playing the old cubbies who we know well uh from our playthrough in the uh in the nl central four games against them now okay just wanted to make sure or the whole i mean we have two weeks of what no off days then we have a couple there, so that's not bad. But yeah, I'm just I'm nervous about our pitching because we're gonna go two straight weeks with no off day, and we've already played what one, two, three, four. We played five extra inning games. I mean that makes me a little nervous, but hopefully we can blow out the Cubbies here. Okay, six three win. Joe Kelly does he not want to get refuses to be demoted? <clears throat> what do you want to offer anything for him? Let's see. Let's shop him real quick. I probably shouldn't have done this with the other players who refused to get demoted, but... Okay. I believe he'll... Uh, this might actually cost us some money to release him. $11 million. <sighs> All right. 
let's get it over with. Let's see. I wonder who they brought up instead. No, I think they already did it. They already brought the person up because that was his. That was his. That was him passing through waivers. So see, we just went. So many guys are just torched. But let's see who who played well in the six three game here. Um, Bruhan three for five, nice. Gorman three for five. Um, <clears throat> Mackenzie Gore goes five innings, gets the win, seven Ks. Not his best outing, um, but gets the win nonetheless. So he's now one and zero on the season. First win of the season. I think it's like his third start. Um, okay, now since we assume that that, uh, I guess that pitching's still about the same spot. All right, so let's see game two. Can we clinch a split against the Cubs? We cannot. Let's see if we can do it in game three. Okay, three two win. Uh, needed some needed three runs in the top of the seventh to get it done. Pache two run single in the top of the seventh. All right, okay, okay. Scooble hitting a double. <laughs> Hey, we'll take it. Pache, two RBI. Jimenez had an RBI. Not a lot of power from this group so far. Scooble, six innings pitched, two Ks. Not a bad start. You like to see maybe a little bit more you know, strikeouts, but hey, overall, he kept the kept the numbers down. <clears throat> so, all right. Let's see. Can we clinch the series win? Four-game series wins are always great, are always great things. Can we clinch it against the Cubbies? Yes, 8-5 to five victory. That's what we like to see, baby. That's what we like to see. Hayes goes 4 for 5. Mountcastle 2 for 4. All right. Hauk, 5 innings pitched. Greater all with a blown save. <clears throat> Looks like there's a rain delay, 65 minutes. All right. So the top of the 8th is when we got... We come from behind victory. Uh, Bruhan, costly air. Okay. So, I guess that was what happened. Doesn't really give anything else other than that. <clears throat> but now, I mean, look at how wild this is. We're about to go into a um, a three-game series against the El Padres. And we're a half game back in first place. We're 11-3. and 11-3, and, and we are a half game back from the division lead. So this is going to be a measuring stick series, as I like to call them. We're going to see how, how we rank against them. Um, te tempted to play them, but you know what? We're just going to simulate here just to kind of see what the baseline is, how we are against them. We might maybe play the games in the next series because we got them again after the Reds. So let's see. Game one, 6-1 win. Okay. McClanahan's been suspended for two games. Why? I'm not. I have no idea. All right, hopefully that does not come back to bite us in the ass, but let's see who played well. 6-1 <clears throat> victory. Uh, got on him early in the first inning. Um, a Rosarina, two-run triple. Okay, that's awesome. Uh, he had two RBI. Kalenic had two RBI. He's hitting 194 still. Um, and then Noyce has, had an RBI, too. Woods Richardson, seven innings pitched, 4K, five hits, three walks. Pretty good game. Um, okay, Will Myers and Shane McClanahan were ejected in the ninth inning for igniting a bench-clearing brawl. I wonder what happened there. Um, <clears throat> looks like he gave up a home run. Maybe he was pissed. Um, who hit the home run? Grisham in the ninth um, hit the home run off McClanahan. And did Will Myers bat right after Grisham? Yep, okay, so that's what, I'm, that's what I think happened. Grisham... Uh, hit a solo shot in the top of the ninth. They were down six nothing. Maybe he pimped it a little bit, or maybe maybe McClanahan was just a little bit aggravated by that, um, and he just probably threw at Myers. Just that's probably what he did. He's probably pissed off and just threw a pitch. I don't even know. Did it even hit him? Did did uh, <clears throat> did uh, hit by a pitch? Yeah. So almost yeah, he got hit by a pitch. So. Um, it wasn't, yeah, threw at him, boom, that's it. So that's what happened there. Hopefully that doesn't come back to cost us. Um, fucking McClanahan. All right, so game two. Can we clinch 
We're throwing Gore out there for revenge against the Padres. Can we clinch the series win in game two? We cannot. Rubber match game. Rubber match game. Game three. Yeah, there we go, baby. Eight to four win. Let's freaking go. Let's go. Five RBI performance from a Rosarina. Wowzes. Wowzes. Mount Castle, Kalenek, Bruhan also added an RBI. Gray goes seven innings pitched, six Ks, three earned runs, decent game. Paddock gets in on the start. Oh, I thought oh, Gore threw the game before. So Paddock gets in on it. He gave up a home run. He only he, he faced four batters. Darvish went six innings, got the L, below average game for him. So we get series number one against the uh, Padres. So now let's take stock where we're at. We're first place in the division by a half game. And it's just a uh, slugfest here. 13-4, and 12-4. and four. Um, It's going to be hard to keep pace with them, though. It really will be hard to keep pace with them uh, based on how stacked their team is. So, <clears throat> all right, the Reds. We've got three against the Reds, the NL Central. Let's see if we can win this series. Definitely a winnable series. 6 nothing win. All right, our closer has dead arm. That's not exactly awesome, but whatever. Let's see who had a who had a, some uh, some good fortune in this game. Jimenez hit a home run. Okay, two run shot. A Rosarina had another two RBI. Um, Kirk Alejandro Kirk had an RBI as well. Um, and then Scooble, six innings, five Ks, four hits. Pretty good game for him. Uh, and then Sonny Gray only lasted two and two-thirds, but he was injured. Um, and then DeGuess, De Goose was uh, injured as well. So we got on Sonny Gray early, though, in the third inning. So, all right, so that was game one of that series. Let's see if we can get the rubber match. Or not the rubber match, the second game. I always just love clinching the series win when you have – when you when you know, we you, you don't have to wait till the last game to get the series win. I love that. Eight to seven win. Mm, that's just mm, chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. Kalenic goes two for three with three runs and two RBI. Mount Castle one for four with two RBI. Ruiz two for four with three RBI. Um, so every uh, you know Jimenez picking up their average there. Kalenic pitch, picking it up a little bit. Um. Pache still 160. Ugh. Hauk goes five innings, doesn't get the win. Eight Ks, below average start for him, 45 game score. But Luis Castillo continues his long line, long line of sucking, which I can attest to, being that he's on my fantasy team. Um, and then looks like our bullpen really shut the door on them. They provided most of the most of the help there to to get it done. So. Um, well, I shouldn't say that. I mean, look, they almost stormed back. So maybe the bullpen didn't do that well. But can we get the sweep? Sweeps are hard. Sweeps are hard to get, but that would be great going into the Padres series with a sweep. 8 nothing win. Oh, you love to see that. You love to see that. Bruhan, Jimenez, uh, Kalenic, Gorman, Woods Richardson even chipping in with an RBI. Three runs in the first. Um, Two-run home run in the bottom of the first. Uh, Kalenic just went deep. Woods Richardson, seven innings pitched, five Ks, four hits. Seven, that's a pretty good start. 71 game score. McClanahan gets in there for an inning. Uh, Santana gets in there for an inning. Um, <clears throat> and uh, Woods Richardson is the player of the game. So we'll go back to the calendar. And now we have three against the Padres, baby. Three more. I mean, is it a four game series? Four games against the Padres. Then we get another day off. So. Um, Padres getting us at the end of a two-week stretch of games every day. So hopefully we can still scratch out a split. <clears throat> this one, I just I want to split. That I would be happy with a split here. So game one, 2-1 win. That's awesome. Let's go. Jimenez won for four with two RBI. <laughs> and that's it. That's it. Um, Two-run double in the top of the eighth uh, for Jimenez. So, <laughs> I mean... Okay, we'll take it. Well, that, that's fine. Mackenzie Gore goes six and two-thirds. 8K, seven hits, one walk. 67 games for a pretty good game from him. Uh, Colome gets um, the win despite only throwing uh, one uh, one pitch. <laughs> that's, 
that's a good freaking uh, uh, good uh, good day of work for for Colum A there. So, okay, so that's game one. Let's see, can we clinch a split with game two? We cannot. All right, game three. Come on, give us a split. Give us a split. Come on, give it to me. Give it to me. Let's go. Let's go. 4-2 victory. Let's see how our players are progressing. Looks like I see a lot of green pluses, which I am very happy with. So let's go back to the schedule and take a look at the 4-2 victory. <clears throat> what happened there? Uh... Okay, so they didn't score to our bullpen. Uh, I'm assuming our bullpen was in the game, yeah. Um, but two in the sixth, two in the eighth. Uh, Jimenez, Kalenic, Rosarina all had RBIs in the game. Um, Scooble, seven innings pitched, five Ks, three hits. Well, that's a pretty good game. 75 games scored. Guy is just a freaking G. Greater all goes an inning. Uh, the Gus goes an inning, gives up three hits, one home run. Ooh. Ooh. All right, so can we clinch the series win and take three of four from the Padres? I, I'm a little greedy. We got we clinched the split. Now I want the series win. Oh, that'd be a great way to go out this video. Come on. Give us the series win against the Padres. Boom! Let's freaking go, baby. Let's go. Four to one win. Nolan Jones went two for four. Oh, hello, Nolan Jones. Where have you been, me amigo? Uh, Kirk went one for three with two RBI. Um, Hauk goes six innings pitch, two K, six hits. Not a great game, not a terrible game either. Clays, Greater All, the Guess, the Guise. All pitch and inning. Okay. So now that means we have what, if we go back to the schedule, we have taken so we won three of four. So we're three and one there, and then we won. So we're five and two against the Padres, who are our biggest threat to the division. So we're going to simulate the day because there's no game here. So let's just take a look at the team. So we are 19 and five, and we're four and a half up on the Padres. 19 and five. I would have never thought we'd be 19 and five this year after we traded every active player. Um, but yeah. So we're four and I mean, hey, this is very early. Things could go way wrong. But uh, 19 and five, four and a half up on the Padres. And they're a half game up on the wild card, the first wild card, or the uh, half game up on the second wild card, which is two games up. So we're really seven games up on a wild, on a playoff spot right now, which is good. I will take that. We go to meet the team. Um, Ruiz is fourth ranked, Kalenic fifth, Gore second, Pache's dropped a little bit. I think he was like number four or something at the start of the season. So, yeah, this is kind of worrisome, though. Our infield just kind of worries me. Our outfield does not. But, hey, we're making do. We, I mean, I can't get – we have five losses all season, all right? I cannot complain. Cannot complain at all. Um, team is in good cohesion. Let's just check the uh, old front office here. Let's just look at the staff. Oh, they're ecstatic. Okay, that's great. Player development, great farm system. Austin Martin at the major league level. I did not see that. Um, how is he doing this year down on the farm? Yeah, see, he's not ready for the majors yet. They keep forcing him up here. Um, but we'll worry about that in the next video. Jones, Gorman. I like this. Well, I mean, this we're going to lose this status here pretty soon, but that's fine because we all graduate all our players. Um, <clears throat> but then let's check out the actual check out the actual team. Who's play, who's having a really good first month of April for us? Um, if we go over to the WAR, uh, Pache negative point five WAR. Mm, he's struggling out of the gate, but he'll turn it around. I have complete confidence in my man there. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Who's have, who's playing particularly well? Uh, Kiebert Ruiz, um, no surprise there. Stud, Austin Hayes, Bruhan, Rosarina, Mountcastle, Kalenic is on fire right now, which is great. 
Um, so our, our hitters are doing well. Not too, not too many weak spots there. Pitching-wise, I feel like pitching's carrying us, though. Um, Mackenzie Gore, 1.2 war already. Uh, Simeon War, Richard Woods, Richardson, not a point nine war. Both are on fire. And if we go look at, you know, let's just t- check out the statistics. Um, uh, again, not combined. Only the National League's the only one that matters. Any leaders? Kalenic, sixth with home runs. Anyone else? Bruhan hits third with thirty-two. Bruhan at bats ninety-seven, tied for fifth. Um, Kalenic with extra base hits with 12 uh, tied for 5th with Acuna uh, let's see anything else nope let's see from a pitching perspective so we're not really having like a standout like performance at the plate let's see pitching wise oh ERA look at this Gray, Scooble, Gore boom all in the top 6 Win Scooble, but that's kind of misleading. <laughs> uh, saves. Okay, Woods, Richardson, and Gore with Ward, both in the top five. Uh, Whip, Gray, and Scooble in the top five. So our pitching staff's leading at Babip. So Scooble and Hauk may be getting a little bit lucky so far this year. Um, ERA plus, Gray and Scooble leading the way there. Phil, uh, FIP. Uh, Gore and Richardson, you know, top th- two of the top three spots. So our our starting pitching is what's is what's locking us down for it. Um, and if you look back at the team home screen, we're six in runs score, but we're first in runs against. <clears throat> and I'm curious as to how far in first uh, that is. So we're gonna go ahead and check the standings. So how how much of a legit team are we here? Let's look at the <clears throat> expanded standings. And see where we're at. Plus 38 run differential, same as the Padres. Right, a run behind the Braves. But yeah, we're legit. This is, we are a legit team. 11 and two at home, four and one in extra inning games, nine and one in one run games. <clears throat> Padres are one and four. You got to think this is going to even out more. And it's going to. I'm still not con- like we are. It's going to be tough to keep pace with the Padres this year. It really will be because they're going to storm back at some point. Um, but man, eight and two in our last ten. I really, really love that. I, I want to see how many. Yeah, there's a way to look at that. That'll be the last thing we look at in this video here. Statistics. We'll look at team stats and see how far ahead we are in terms of runs um, allowed. So we'll go pitching statistics and then runs. So Toronto gave up 90, 85. I mean, we are. We are very far ahead. The closest is the Padres, who have 82 runs given up. That's it. We have 70. So we're 12 ahead. 12, 12 runs less given up in the second place. 62 earned runs, which is just like out of that stratosphere. RERA 240. <laughs> wow. All right, so our pitching is le- our starting pitching is leading the way. Our bullpen's not bad either. So we're going to start May. Let's check out who we have in May. We have the Diamondbacks, Rockies for a few, Giants for a few. Um, let's see. Um, Giants not having a great season. Rockies aren't having a great season. Um, Cubs are okay. Uh, Reds must be leading the division. So we have a month where we could we can maybe beat up on some of the dregs of our division so far and maybe get some wins against them to maybe – give us more of a buffer in our division. But so far, couldn't be happier with how April and the start of May went. I mean, we're 19-5. and five. Freaking crazy. Crazy that we're 19-5. and five. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I will see you all in the next video where we will sim through May and see if we can keep the good times rolling, baby. Let's go. See ya.